Hello YouTube and TCG fans, this is Davide here again from Carbound and today I'm bringing you the first Pokemon deck profile. Um, I haven't done anything Pokemon related because I've kind of gone off of it but I kind of felt like I want to show everyone this deck that I've built um, a year ago and it's actually still doing well. I recently went to visit a friend at Locals and he was using this Mewtwo EX deck and it was actually running quite well against it. I actually managed to take a few games as well with this deck against some competitive decks so uh, considering this was a fun made deck just out of Pokemons I loved this was actually quite impressive. So uh, we'll get into the deck in just a second. I um, want to just tell you guys if you like these videos please do subscribe. Uh, this is the first video if you like it if you have any comments or anything really <laughs> just post in the comments and I'll take that into consideration going to the next video so without further ado let's get started uh, my deck is a ground steel deck and uh, you'll see that there's a few very vari variations on it and uh, I will show you in a second why and I'll explain it to you so the first Pokemon I use as a basic is Scyther um, there aren't any good Scythers around so I just have this one the one uh, you see here, the Slash for 10 and Sharp Scythe for 20. Not really too fancy, but it's because I have this card. A Scizor, or Scissor, I don't know how you call them. Okay, so this card for 2, the Steel Slash 40, during your opponent's next turn, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from Pokemon EX. Uh, that's the only reason why I have why I have him in my deck because people run EX. I don't like EX that much. I think it's a little bit silly, so I run countermeasures for EXs. And then it has Slashing Strike for 100. The, this Pokemon can't use Slashing Strike during your next turn. So yeah, it's a really good card. Um, I only run this little tree of it because I think that'll do because my other Pokemon kind of clog up the deck. So yeah, that's my first tree. The second tree is my Aron tree. Now Aron, uh, many people know, is like one of my favorite Pokemons. I think it's adorable and uh, when it evolves it, ju it just becomes cooler and cooler. Uh, I use two different Arons, which is these two. You can pause if you want to see them. They're pretty good, um, as far as a good Aaron goes, really. Um, yeah, it's flip a coin for both, for both. So it, it has the potential to do a lot of damage, but I don't really count on it. Um, Aaron is just there because I want to evolve it. Then I use this Laron. Zoom that in a bit. There we go. Metal Claw for 30 and wreak havoc. Flip a coin until you get tails for each heads. Discard the top card of your opponent's deck. Now, with this effect, I actually managed to do it once, but I actually milled seven cards from a guy's deck with that one. And he was just so annoyed, he actually said, I don't want to play anymore. So, <laughs> I take that as a compliment. So that's a good card. And I use this layer on. Scrap attack. For 20, flip a coin. If heads, search your discard pile for steel energy and attach it to Laron. So this one is actually really good if you're like building up towards your Agron. And it has tackle, 3 energy for 60. Then for a final evolution, Agron, I have two different ones. I run this one. Has Toppling Wind for a, a Pokemon ability, which is when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may discard the top three cards of your opponent's deck. And then Giga Horn for 90, flip two coins. If both of them are tails, this attack does nothing. Again, um, I like this card, but I, pref I much prefer uh, this one, which is the other Agron I'm using, which is uh, three energy, second strike, 40. If the defending Pokemon already has any damage counters on it, this attack does 40 damage plus 40 more. So it can do 80 if it already has damage on it. 
And then for 4 energy, Guard Claw for 60. During your opponent's next turn, any damage done to Agron by attacks is reduced by 20 after applying weaknesses and resistance. So yeah, if you want to have a closer look at this card, there you go. I really like this card. Agron is also one of my favorite Pokemon. If anyone ever asks me to make a favorite 6, he is definitely in it. So yeah, that's my other tree. It's like one of my bigger trees. You can set it up as like a pyramid, but I've slowly gone into the habit of actually making squares. Like two, uh, two, 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 and not like three, two, one. So I've taken in the habit of making like squares, basically, or rectangle, rectangle. I'm not gonna go into geometry right now. <laughs> Then, next one, I run two Dribblers. They're the same, so I can show you just one. It's not a particularly good Dribbler, but its effect is really nice, and you can just wait for that um, evolution to come by in your hands. As you can see, Home Claws. During your next turn, each of this Pokemon's attacks deal 30 more damage, which means Scratch can do 40 in your next turn, should you not get his evolution. Which we are coming to right now, which is Exadrill. Also one of my favorite Pokemon. You can see here, one energy, Metal Claw for 30 damage. And then Drill Run, 3 energy for 80 damage. Discard an energy attached to the defending Pokemon. So, it's quite nasty. And then I run this Exadrill as well. Might be harder to see because it's reverse foiled. Uh, first... Thing is, one energy tunnel strike. This attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Don't apply weakness and resistance for benched Pokemon. And then for two energy, dick uppercut does 50 damage. Put a card from your discard pile into your hand. Um, as you can see, I have a thing with milling the opponent's deck and grabbing them for myself from my own discard pile. So, yeah, that's another tree. Also, again, a small one. Then, next one. Two Onyx. Now, why I run the two of them, and uh, why they are so essential to me, is because of their Poke Bodies. Energy Healer. Whenever you attach an energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon, remove one damage counter from that Pokemon. Now, if you have those two on the field, I actually use both their Poke Bodies, and it's like, you attach an energy, you heal 20 damage. And it saved me endless times. Like, it's one of my basic tactics. I always make sure that, like, all my trainers are, like, cards and I that get out Pokemon from your deck. And I always use them on Onyx, so they're on my bench. Just for that sole reason. Like, I barely use my Steelix. Uh, it's mainly just Onyx on the bench. But yeah, and then it has one more attack for Boundless Power for 80. Onyx can't attack during your next turn. But like I said, if if he's going to go up front to attack, I change it into a Steelix. Which brings us to the next card, Steelix. One energy outbreak power. Choose a number of your opponent's Pokemon up to the amount of energy attached to Steelix. This attack does 20 damage to each of them. Don't apply weakness and resistance for benched Pokemon. So basically, if he has four energy, you can choose four Pokemon and say 20, 20, 20, 20. And they'll have to take it. And then his other attack is 4 energies, iron tail, 100 times. Flip a coin until you get tails. This attack does 100 damage times the number of heads. Just for giggles, I uh, try to keep flipping as much as possible. And I actually went up to 800 damage. So that's my record so far. And then there's this Steelix. It's a little bit stronger than the previous one. Guard press. 3 energy for 40. During your opponent's next turn, any damage done to Steelix by attacks is reduced by 20 after applying weakness and resistance. Then 4 energy, Steel Swing for 80 times. Flip 2 coins, this attack does 80 times, 80 damage times the number of hits. So this one can do 160. So yeah, uh, my Steelixes are like, they're very risky because it's flip a coin, but they can pretty much one shot a uh, Pokemon EX if they want to. So, put that over 
करते हैं एंड देन माय फेवरेट पोकेमोन वेल नेक्स्ट टू ब्लास्टोइस फैनफी here we go their poke uh, poke body is amazing ultra thick skin as long as fafi fanfi has any energy attached to it any damage done to fanfi by attacks is reduced by 10 and then uh, two energy rock smash 20 plus flip a coin if heads this attack does 20 damage plus 10 more it's not an amazing fanfi but you know he can endure uh, if you put energy on and he's like on the bench so if somebody attacks your bench fanfi can actually take a few hits but the reason why is because I run this Domfin. I think they're called Primes because of the edges, how they look. Yeah, I run two of them. Um, its poker body is Exoskeleton. Any damage done to Domfin by attacks is reduced by 20 after applying weakness and resistance. One energy, Earthquake for 60. Does 10, 10 damage to each of your benched Pokemon. Don't apply weakness and resistance for benched Pokemon. And then for 3 energy, heavy impact for 90. So it, I can't really say much about Domfer. This it, It's one of my favorite Pokemons. I love him. Uh, this card is absolutely insane. Like many people, the moment I bring him out, they're like, oh god, he has Domfer Prime. We're fucked. So I'm sorry for the people who actually had to endure with my Domfer Prime. But you know. Next one is a Skarmory. Um, I like Skarmory. Many people don't like him. They think he looks stupid, but I th actually think he's pretty awesome. Uh, one energy, metal sound, flip a coin. If heads, the defending Pokemon is now confused. And then its other attack, Swift for three, does 70 damage. This attack damage isn't affected by weakness, resistance, or any other effects on the defending Pokemon. So it's just like three energy, 70 damage. Um, I was going for another Skarmory, but I think for now I just put that one in until I kind of make it with trays or something. And then the beast of the deck, Cabalion. Many people hate me for running this one, but you know, you run EXs, so shush. <laughs> uh, two energy, energy press 20 plus, does 20 more damage for each energy attached to the defending Pokemon. So not this one, the defending Pokemon. And then, the deal breaker. <laughs> 3 energy, iron breaker for 80 damage. The defending Pokemon can't attack during your opponent's next turn. I had people bringing out uh, EXs on Cabalion. As long as my two Onyxes are on the bench, this one's out, and he keeps using iron breaker, I literally steamroll through any ex i haven't like unless you have this uh, electric deck that makes you switch for free but i haven't seen that happening so far to me i've i've seen people like using decks where you can like freely switch and then they switch about to throw me off but i think that's the only weakness of cabalion if you're really prideful and you stick with your pokemon i win with my cabalion so um then next just quickly energies uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 ground energies. Because I mainly run ground. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 steel. And then 10, 11, 2 special steels. And a special energy. Just one. Um, I'll explain these two to you because they're actually different. Damage done. By attacks to the Pokemon that Metal Energy is attached to is reduced by 10. Ignore this effect if the Pokemon that Metal Energy is attached to isn't a Metal kind. Metal Energy provides Metal Energy. Doesn't count as a basic energy card. So, only equip it to Steel. And it gets the effect that reduces damage. Then, this one. Again, damage done by attacks to Pokemon that Metal Energy is attached to is reduced by 10. Ignore this effect if the Pokemon that Metal Energy is attached to is in Steel. Metal Energy provides... Metal Energy doesn't count as a basic amount. It's actually the same. Good job, Valerie. You know your deck so well. <laughs> so that was the energies. And now for the trainers. Um, you know that you can only use one support a turn, so I'll leave the supports 
on the side. There we go. I used two Pokemon communications. Pretty standard, choose one of a Pokemon in your hand, show it to your opponent, put it on the top of your deck. If you do, search your deck for a Pokemon, show it to your opponent, put it into your hand, shuffle your deck afterwards. So it's basically you trade one Pokemon in for another. Pretty standard, pretty much every deck runs it, I think. And the other trainer is Luxury Ball. Search your deck for a Pokemon, excluding level X. Show it to your opponent, put it into your hand, shuffle your deck afterwards. If any Luxury Ball is in your discard pile, you can't play this card. So that's why I only run one. I don't see the point in running more. Because you'll see my other cards, it kind of makes sense. Then, next one is three Cylons. Uh, Cylon is search your deck for three basic energy cards, reveal them, put them into your hand, and shuffle your deck afterwards. Pretty standard. You can mill for energy with this one. Then the next one is a Cylon, a uh, Chiron, sorry. Very simple. Draw three cards. That'll do. <laughs> Professor Elm's training method. Um, it says here that you can only play one supporter e uh, card each turn. When you play this card, put it next to your active Pokemon. When your turn ends, you discard this card. So that's the rule for supporters. Then, here, it's a fact. Search your deck for an evolution card. Show it to your opponent, put it into your hand, and shuffle your deck afterwards. So, pretty standard. Professor Oak's new theory. Again, it has the same explanation for supports. And then shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw six cards. So basically, if you are short on your hand and you don't have, like, for example, I have Agron and I am running a Scissor and an Extra Drill or an Onyx, I don't have a use for that Agron. Put it back in the deck, shuffle my deck, and get six new cards. So it's a nice way to fill up your hand again. I run just one. Then this one, Celio's Network. Again, it explains the supporter stuff. And then search your deck for a basic Pokemon or Evolution card, excluding Pokemon EX. Show it to your opponent, put it into your hand, and shuffle your deck afterwards. So, so you actually see like a recurring trend here, where I have trainers that search for Pokemon and energies. Search your deck for up to two in any combination of basic Pokemon and basic energy cards. Show them to your opponent and put them into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. This is Roseanne's research, and I run three of them. As you can see, um, my trainers are mainly focused around getting the right Pokemon out and getting energy out so I don't run out. So yeah, that's my deck. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them if I haven't answered anything. Um, like I said, this deck is mainly steel and ground, with Scyther being the, uh, the exception. But as you also can see, the reason why Scyther is in it, I forgot to mention this. Look, he doesn't use grass energy, it's just any energy. So that's why I actually put him in. First I ran a Excavalier, because I really liked him, but Scissor just works better currently against... EXs because I don't run EXs. I have a lot of them, like because I bought boxes in the past, but I just don't want to run EXs. I think they kind of take the fun out of the game. But yeah, so this is my um, ground steel deck. If you like it, post it in the comments, like this video. Um, if you want to see more videos, do subscribe. I'm going to try and do as many as possible of these. So yeah. Um, also, before I go, um, if you guys don't follow my Twitter, I've recently announced that I have had I have a partnership with Chaos Cards. Um, we kind of thought it was beneficial for both of us if we work together. So we are kind of helping each other by featuring each other on each other's channel. So by this, uh, I want to give a shout out to Chaos Cards. Uh, all the cards you see here and of all my videos are mainly bought from their website they're actually the cheapest because I've been around and I've looked everywhere to get it as cheap as possible because my channel is completely self-funded so uh, and they are the cheapest they do amazing deals they have so many so much stuff and even if they don't have it just send them an email and they are so quick to reply 
they're actually like a, a really nice shop really friendly people so yeah definitely uh, also check them out uh, I'll put the link in the description to their channel it's called Chaos Cards TV and I'll leave it at that so thank you guys for watching my uh, Pokemon deck profile and I'll see you guys in the next video